Okay, so now we're going to talk about the design half, design, prototype, and iterate. Let's just concentrate on design though. Prototyping and iterating, that's something we already know how to do. So build it, test it, build it, test it, try this over and over, fail fast, fail often, we get that, that's fun. But this design is what I want to talk about in this second half of design thinking because this design is informed. Now, if we stay, you know, if we, if we do what, I mean, we know some design shops that do this, where you kind of stand around a whiteboard and all pretend to be smart and guess what the customer wants, that's okay, and you can get, you know, some decent kind of iterative designs out of that. However, if you really want something special, the magic here is if you inform that with behavior and emotion. And so these are the two things that are the crux of design. And what we're looking for here is problems to solve. So we talked about the Sharpie, for example, and the problem that the ink would dry out. And, that's, and how are we going to fix that? That Now we're at the design piece. Once we have the problem, now we're at the design piece, and we can start talking about how we're going to fix the Sharpie and that problem. At First User Group, we concentrate on three things. Technology. So a technology solution for a Sharpie might be an ink that never goes dry. That might be a great technology solution. We look at mechanics. And mechanics are something that we can do to the pin physically, right, to the Sharpie pen. Maybe a a retractable ink that somehow protects the the ink head when it's inside and we can just retract that. That might be an idea. Mechanics in a digital property would be the user interface design and interaction. And then the third thing we look at are like industries. And what I mean by this is what other industries keep things from drying out? Well I can think of like Ziploc or Tupperware, right? And would we find some some design cues if we watched people use Ziplocs and use Tupperware? I think we could. So we do all three of these things and we go through all three of these kind of protocols when we're starting to figure out our design. And only then do we go to prototyping. We'll spend the next video talking about some of the pitfalls people make when they're getting into design thinking.